got two BB boxes for you. This one I received for promotional purposes, and this one I bought because it's full of chocolate. So I couldn't resist because chocolate is my favorite food. So I got this one for promo. Uh, they just sent it to me. They just pick which box they want to send me, and they just send it to me, and they say, hey, review this one. And this one is the Mimi Special number six, and this is the whole grain box. Uh, I did kind of peek in here. I peeked in both of them, and in the chocolate one, I did open one and try one because I could not resist because it's chocolate. Uh, it's, well, it's not chocolate. It's cacao you know whatever so anyway we're gonna start with the whole grain box uh, these work out to be about 30 bucks a piece and you always get way more than $30 worth of stuff in here so it's really gonna be whether these are the type of products that you would use how's my hair doing I didn't do anything to my hair today some of you have asked me what my hair looks like when I get out of the shower like if I don't do anything to it this is what it looks like this is the wave I actually had it in a ponytail so it's like the flat at the top and then the wave at the bottom let's go ahead and get into what's in here I'm just gonna kind of go in order the first thing on the list is the Greenith natural oatmeal scrub bar and this looks really really cool and it's 100% organic it's handmade uh, it's got natural ingredients like oatmeal and rice bran and mung beans and red beans and shea butter and jojoba oil and all that good stuff. I don't really use like bar soaps that much, but John does, my husband, so I might pass this on to him if it doesn't smell too girly. I would imagine it smells very oatmeal-y. Let's smell it and see what happens. Can I smell it? Smelling it. It's got more of a, it's got a dude smell. It's not really a chick smell. It smells a little like oatmeal-y, earthy kind of smell. So if he doesn't like it, maybe I'll e-div it or something, but, or divvy it on e-div. If you haven't found e-div yet, by the way, I'm not sponsored, uh, it's really fun. You get to get rid of all of the stuff that you don't want from your subscription boxes. And it's awesome! And I have my stuff on there, on there if you're interested in divvying with me and trading some stuff up. Herb Clinic Rice Bran Powder. So you mix up one sp. I'm assuming it's a teaspoon, but it says a sp of rice bran powder with one sp of oatmeal, black bean, or brown rice, and an adequate amount of milk until the mixture becomes relatively thickened, and evenly spread the mixture over your face. <laughs> okay, so you take the you take the rice bran powder and you mix it in your oatmeal, and then you put it all over your face. After, and you leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes. Wow. Wow. I can't see my... <laughs> Can you imagine me with oatmeal like clumps all over my face? <laughs> That's funny. Moving on. <laughs> okay, number three is the Pure Bess Blactomyces. It's 100% concentrate of Blactomyces. Locks in moisture within your skin, gets rid of any residues, piled up in your pores, removes signs of fine lines, nice, along your contours, delivering an overall effect of more translucent and naturally glowing skin. Do I want translucent skin? I'm not quite sure about that because then wouldn't you be able to see all my veins? I don't want you to see my veins and my blood going through my face because my skin translucent. Turn into Baltimore over here. I'll have to do more research on this G. Glactomyces thing and see whether I want to use that or not. It's like a liquid though. It's like watery. Okay. And these are all full size products by the way. This is the Pure Bess Lactomyces Eye Cream. So it's the same stuff but this is the essence and this is the eye cream. I just noticed all you're seeing is my mailbox thing over there. I wish I could get it so that you didn't have to see that all the time but that's all I got. Okay. So my bed is right here so I can't move the camera over. All right, let's see what the deal is with this. I love eye creams, though. I don't know about that other stuff, but I love me some eye cream. That is huge for an eye cream. This will last me the rest of my natural life. And maybe beyond. Feels nice. Just moisturizing eye cream. Has a little bit of a lotion-y smell, but nothing strong. Cool. Anything special about this? No need for an expensive high-end eye cream anymore. This is affordable, high-quality eye cream. But the same thing with that translucence. I don't want you to see all my veins under my eyeballs. That'd just be weird. So I'll, I'll do some research on that. We'll do some research. And if y'all know anything about it, let me know in the comments. All right, next is a puder, puderm. <laughs> next is a pure derm. Can I speak? Next is the pure derm anti-stress heat therapy 
meal, mask oatmeal. Bam! It looks like shampoo. You got anti-stress. It's a heat therapy mask, relaxes your pores to open them up instantly so they can remove any residues clogged up inside and deliver deep nourishment and moisture to your skin. So it's got oatmeal extracts, jasmine extracts, cactus, and honey to improve the elasticity and overall complexion. Neat. Excited about that. I'm definitely keeping this one too, so I'm going to open this one up. I don't like the paper masks, but I'll use me some other kind of masks. It smells like soap though. I was expecting more of an oatmeal smell. It smells like clean. Clean soap. Cool. And next, Rice Brand Collagen Masks. These will go to Mary Lynn, my friend who enjoys masks. Brightens and smooths out your dull complexion for a healthier glow. And they're $5 each. Rice Brand Extract Collagen and Vitamin E. The pulp cloth retains more moisture, helping pores to fully absorb Pure Derm's beneficial ingredients. Nice. Cool, cool. So we'll pass those along. And then next on the list, number seven, is the Pure Derm Daily Moisturizing Hand Mask Oatmeal. And it's a, you get one pair for $7. How fun! I will use this because it's not on my face. So it's a glove type mask. It locks in moisturization and it's oatmeal and shea butter. And I get dry patches, especially on my knuckles, and I don't like it. So I'm definitely going to be using that. That's exciting. And then the last thing in here is an invigorating foot scrub. And it's a walnut one. Interesting. So you just, I guess you just rub it on your feet. It's a blend of walnut shells, apricot seeds. They work together to gently exfoliate and soften rough, dry, and callous skin on your feet. It says you can also use it on your elbows and your knees. Nice. Cool. So excited about that. Yay. So things I'm most excited about in here are the foot scrub. I'm excited about the hand mask. I'm excited about the face mask. This I'm a little weirded out by, but we'll we'll work with it. We'll we'll see how it goes. I, I might have to just try it just for the fun of it, for the for the excitement of trying something new. I got I'm gonna step out of my comfort zone and I'm gonna try it. I'm a little scared, but I'm gonna try it. And then these, I'm going to have to just do more research on to see whether they'll really truly make my skin translucent. This I'm not super excited about, but that's just a personal preference thing. And then these is another personal preference thing that I give to my friend on my face mask. So overall, again, I feel like this Mimi box definitely has all of the components of an amazing, way more value than what you pay for box. And it's a lot of interesting things that you would never see in the U.S. I mean, where, where would you see these? Nowhere. Nowhere. It's just, it's so interesting to see what they put in here uh, because it's marketed to a Korean audience and, you know, they, they just market things differently and I think that's really great to see something like that. It's very refreshing. All right, moving on to the chocolate box. Again, I already opened this a little bit because I couldn't help it. Could not help it. And the first thing I opened, well, uh oh, I got chocolate on the card. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my God. This is the Pure Smile Choosy Lip Scrub in Chocolate. And it came in this package here, but this is the actual product. Isn't that cute? And then it says it's a lip scrub, but it's very, very smooth. There's no scrubbiness to it. It's just this brown color and it's very moisturized and it smells like chocolate, which makes it even more amazing. But I mean, nothing like out of the ordinary, but it definitely smells good. It says sugar, cow extracts, beeswax, shea butter, jojoba oil, macadamia oil for removing dead skins, deeply nourishing and adding extra luster to your dry chapped lips. Yes, that is what I need in my life. Ba bam bam this is the Etude House Milk Talk. Uh, and it is a body wash. And it smells like chocolate. And also you can put it in your bath as a bath milk. And make a chocolate milk bath. How amazing is that? I'm going to take me a chocolate milk bath. How? Just, oh. Doesn't get any better than a chocolate milk bath. I'm telling you. Goodness. Alright, now the Wonderichi Cacao Brightening Mask. Where are you? Right here. It looks all fancy. The packaging's so pretty. Look at that. It's like chocolate sauce in a tub. And it smells like chocolate sauce. Straight up chocolate sauce. No joke. Ooh, look. And it looks like chocolate sauce. I wonder if I can actually eat this. Should I lick it? Do you dare me? I'm not doing it. <laughs> You thought I was going to lick it, didn't you? Cleanses away all the dirt and impurities piled up in your pores. 
Also looks, feels, and smells exactly like real chocolate, so be careful not to eat it. So glad I read that, because I was going to. Avoiding eye and lip areas, no problem. But I'm telling you, that looks like fudge, like straight up fudge. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is the Pure Smile Essence Mask in Chocolate Milk. Chocolate Milk Mask, rich in milk, protein, nutrients, cacao extracts, vitamin E, and collagen work to hydrate and smooth out uneven skin texture. I might actually have to use this mask. This may be a first for me for from a while ago, when the last time I used one of these and I was completely horrified. But this one's made of chocolate, so therefore I may have to try it. All right, next we have the Vitamin Cleansing Dessert. Look at that cute little box. Oh my gosh. Avas Vitamin Cleansing Dessert Magic Cream Soap in Coconut and Cacao. Just, it's just a cleanser. Nothing fabulous in the description, nothing notable. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. This one that smells a little more like fake chocolate. It's like whippy, and it's, I'm having trouble getting some off on my finger there. It's very creamy but still smells amazing. Smells more like a chocolate lip, like fake lip product. Where this one, the other one smelled like straight up chocolate sauce. So that is exciting as well. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I only paid 30 bucks for this thing. Okay, you guys will not believe the final product. You will not believe it. I'm telling you, you will not believe it when I, sh until I show you, look at this. Yes, my friends, these are nose pore strips made out of chocolate. Oh my gosh! Contain cocoa extract, witch hazel extract, clean your clogged pores with some chocolate! That is too funny. I'm gonna make John do these with me. My husband do these with me. So you get these little pore strips like that, and they got chocolate in them. Cracks me up. Never in my life would I ever think that I would see chocolate nose strips. I have, I have no words. So you get six strips. They're paraben free. Fabulous! So, in the chocolate box, I'm excited about everything. There isn't a single thing in here I'm not excited about. We got the Milk Talk, Milk Chocolate Milk Bath Goodness. We got the Lip Scrub, which isn't really a scrub, it's more of a balm. Uh, we got the Strips, we got the Mask, we got the Cleanser. Wait, no, this is, the ma this is another mask. This is just like a face, like a, a mushy mask, and this is like a paper mask. And then this is the uh, cleanser. So, dude, seriously, I am in chocolate heaven right now. I'm so excited about this box. I don't even know what to say. So, uh, let me know what you thought of these two Mimi boxes down in the comments below. I'm sure we're having some great conversation down there right now about what was happening in this video. So, join in, meet some new friends, and have some great conversations with us. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and click that button right there. And uh, we'll get to know each other in the comments. So, thank you so much for watching. Mad love to you, my friends. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!